multiply decimals and whole numbers. How do we multiply 4 times 8 hundredths? We're going to use a place value chart and a decimal model. One square on the decimal model represents 1 hundredth. Because we're multiplying, we need four groups of 8 hundredths. So we shade four sets of 8 squares. Now we add them up. We get 32 squares, or 32 hundredths. We can also say we have 3 tenths and 2 hundredths. Let's do another example. 3 times 21 hundredths. Shade in 3 sets of 21 squares. Now add them up. Instead of counting, let's draw lines for tenths and circles for hundredths. We have six tenths and three hundredths. So we place our decimal point and write a six in the tenths column and a three in the hundredths column. The answer is 63 hundredths. Let's do another example. Two times 74 hundredths. We need two sets of 74 hundredths. Shade in the first set of 74 hundredths. As you can see, we don't have enough squares to cover the second set of 74. We're going to add another decimal model. This model represents one whole, or 100 hundredths. Now we have enough space to add another set of 74 hundredths. Count the tenths. We have 14 tenths and 8 hundredths. We can't put 14 into the tenths column, so we regroup 10 tenths to make 1 1. We write the 1 in the ones column. We're left with 4 tenths and 8 hundredths. So our answer is 1.48. Let's do another example. 4 times 23 hundredths. This time we're going to model using bars and circles. Let's draw 23 hundredths. Each bar represents 1 tenth, and each circle represents 1 hundredth. We have 2 tenths and 3 hundredths. Because we're multiplying by 4, we have to draw this 4 times. Combine the tenths. Now combine the hundredths. We see that we have 12 hundredths. We can't write 12 in the hundredths column, so we have to regroup 10 hundredths to make 110. Now we have 9 tenths and 2 hundredths. So the answer is 92 hundredths. Let's do another example. 2 times 86 hundredths. Let's draw it out. To draw 86 hundredths, we need to draw 8 bars to represent 8 tenths, and 6 circles to represent 6 hundredths. Because we're multiplying by 2, we have to do this 2 times. Combine the tenths. Now combine the hundredths. We have 12 hundredths. We can't put 12 in the hundredths column, so we have to regroup. Now we have 17 tenths. We can't put 17 in the tenths column, so we have to regroup 10 tenths to make 1 1. We write the 1 in the 1's column. We're left with 7 tenths, so we write that in the tenths column. 
and we have two hundredths. Our answer is 1.72. If you thought this video was helpful, please leave a like. For more videos like this, please subscribe.